Hey guys, welcome back to Sipping Tea with TJ. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate it. Before you leave, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up the video, tap that notification bell. Now let's get into sipping this tea. All right, y'all. Y'all already know who, who we're addressing today from the title, My Jazzy Life. So before I get into this video, if she film one more, and I mean one more damn video with that goddamn dress, I'm going to come through the goddamn camera and choke her ass out. Sis, stop it. We know you said the dress was comfortable, but girl... I think the last three or four videos you've been in that dress. Stop it. Please stop it. All right, guys. So in this video, she took the kids to speech therapy. So I'm finally glad that they're getting the help that they need because because in a few years, they you won't even know that they need speech because they're still young. So probably in a couple of years with them getting the help that they need, you won't even know that their speech was delayed or impaired. So when they was in um, the waiting area waiting for the speech therapist or, you know, to come and evaluate the kids, they were playing with the blocks. And Jasmine was like, you know, blocks are their favorite. You know, I took their blocks away from them. So, and I'm confused, y'all. Y'all got to put me on point. Why the hell did she take the kids' blocks? What the hell did, I mean, what did they do with the blocks that she was like, no, I got to take these blocks? I mean, y'all let me know. Catch me up, please. So she showed Ava being um, evaluated by the speech therapist because she said this was not the actual therapy. It was pretty much to see if they were eligible for speech therapy. So this was just an evaluation. So the clips that she showed of Ava, Ava did pretty well. She did really, really well um, with, with the evaluations from what she had showed us. So as she's recording Ava, she comes back on the camera and she says that she is starving. Y'all, why in the hell every time the girl get on camera lately, she talking about she's starving because she didn't eat all day. What is going on? Now, if it's because you're nauseous in the morning or whatever the case, not even in the morning because Lord knows it is not morning sickness. But if it's because you're nauseous, I get that. But it's like, I didn't, I'm didn't. i starving because I didn't eat all day. And what What is it, sis? Is it that you don't have enough time? When you're getting up to go to these appointments or getting up to go where you need to go, you're not giving yourself enough time to, to eat because we see you feeding the kids. So when you feed the kids, feed yourself, sis. Or if you got to give a little bit early to make sure you are feeding the kids and yourself so that the baby in your stomach can get some food. She just, she gives me the vibes of a pregnant teenager. The way she acts the way she presents herself it's almost as if she's a teen mom like she's a pregnant teen mom and she has no damn clue that is the vibes that she gives me so she didn't film Aiden doing his evaluation she said that he pretty much really didn't want to do it um so she said she had to be a little bit hands-on with him she had to physically I guess help him with whatever the lady was asking him to do. She always comes and says that Aiden is shy, you know, so that's why he acts the way he acts. And I'm like, baby, please stop it. Please, 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 please. Let's not downgrade this shit when it comes to your children. In my opinion, I feel like Aiden has more than just speech going on. There's a little bit more than just his speech being a little delayed or a little impaired. I think he has other needs that needs to be addressed. He needs additional assistance. I'm saying this is just my thoughts. Um, but I'm sure when the lady was evaluating him, I'm sure she's seen that he had a little bit more going on than just speech. And I'm sure she documented it. They will be going to speech therapy twice a week. 
So I'm sure with them going twice a week, they will notice that his behave, how his behavior is and he can get the proper help that he needs because it's clear that it's just not about speech when it comes to Aiden. It's a little bit more going on and I just don't know why Jasmine is in denial or is it that she's in denial, guys, or is it that she just really ignorant to the fact? I mean, it's it's because, look, we all know Jasmine is a little uh, special. So is it that she really doesn't believe that Aiden has a little more going on than Ava? Or is it that she's really in denial? Let me know down in the comments below, y'all. Because I'm starting to think that maybe she's just not trying to deny it, not in denial. I'm thinking that she really just don't really know. She's a little... A little a little oblivious to the fact that her son needs a little bit more than speech so y'all let me know because i'm starting to think that yeah that he that she just maybe really don't know that it's something more going on than just his speech and him being shy like we've all been around shy kids and shy kids don't normally act the way that aiden acts out you know it could be a behavior issue on top of some other things that's going on so she posted a live today or she did a live today and she did the live she said because she was not going to be posting a video and since she's doing a video every day this month when she doesn't post a video blah 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 she goes live so somebody in the live was asking her how her mom was and she said she's good no jasmine your mother is not good sis your mother is not good you know what's going on with your mom, whether you had something to do with it or not. You know damn well what's going on with your mother. So don't sit up here and tell the people that she is good. Mama Dukes put it on Facebook, so it's not like it's a secret. So for you not to address it, hmm, my eyebrows are raised. So it's clear that it is something going on with Mama Dukes and Jasmine's relationship. And in my opinion, it's more than just the Chris thing. It's more than her not really agreeing with Chris and Jasmine's relationship. More than her not wanting to have a baby by Chris. It is more than that, in my opinion. It's just, it's something deeper than her not agreeing with her relationship. So another person mentioned in the comments, um, with everything Mama Deuce got going on, just support her. Pretty much she was talking to Jasmine. And Jasmine said, yeah, I support my mom. Now, with her saying that comment, if everything was good, everything was okay, me being her child, I'd be like, what do you mean with everything she got going on, support her? Like, why wouldn't I be supporting my mother? What do you mean? Da, 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 da. And Jasmine just, just said, I support my mom. So I'm like, why would this person in the comments say that? Just support her. Like, she knows something. Like, sis, tell us what you know. Because for you to say to her daughter, who she's been close with, with everything Mama Deuce got going on, just support her. And Jasmine not say anything other than I support my mom. What the hell is really going on, y'all? Something is really going on. So somebody in the comments said to Jazz, I like the name Blaze. <laughs> And Jasmine says, yeah, that's a nice name. And she says, but you know, like, come on, whoever that person was in the comments was being smart, being shady, because we all know Chrissy, son, name is Blaze. But come on, y'all, let's get into the title of that, of that live. The title of that live was, what are we going to name the baby? Name reveal. And she didn't mention a damn thing about a baby name. Nothing. Somebody asked her what letter did the baby name begin with? And she said she didn't want to tell because they probably would guess it. So why the hell did you title the live that, uh, Jasmine? Because you didn't have to do a clickbait title because we were all going to click on the video and see what the fuck shit you was going to say or do. So you didn't have to clickbait the title of the live the live was pretty much boring like i said the only thing was really going on is people was asking about her mom in the comments she pretty much was giving them one word of answers didn't really touch on that too much 
Anyway, y'all, y'all drop down in the comments because it is clear that something is going on with her and Mama Dukes. And like I said, I don't think it has anything to do. Well, not anything. I don't think it's only about Chris. It has something to do with something much more deep because she's still not mentioning anything that Mama Dukes has going on. She just keeps, oh, my mom's good. Girl, she's not good. We know because she posted on Facebook. She ain't good sis she ain't good so stop with the with the phony shit we know she ain't good this is what i will say to jasmine whatever it is that you and mama dukes have going on if you did something to mama dukes for her to be upset whether it's you and chris whether it's you having a baby whether you did some fuck shit to her you need to be a big girl a grown-ass woman admit to your faults apologize to your mama Tell her you sorry. You appreciate her. Because at the end of the day, you only get one. You only get one. So mend that relationship with your mother before it's too late. Woo, child. All right, y'all. I touched on everything I want to touch on in this video. Don't forget to comment down below so that we can talk about it, speak about it, sip about it. See you guys in my next video.